This is Eileen Day on behalf of Expert Village, and this segment is working with others on Reiki. It's very important to have the person you're working on give you permission to give Reiki. You can't force Reiki. So whether you ask out loud or you ask in your mind's eye, um, they give themselves permission to receive. And as a Reiki practitioner then, we just gently rest our hands on the body or off the body. And as a practitioner, again, it's important to get out of the way to let the energy flow. And as we hold the space for the energy to flow, we may sense different phenomena. The recipient might sense different energy. We just hold one to three minutes is generally prescribed for each hand position. And at that time, a practitioner moves about again, either on the body or off the body with respect to boundaries. Giving Reiki in a chair is probably one of the most common forms of a treatment, but Reiki is also able to be given massage, table, um, while a person's standing or resting. There's no time limit for treatment. It can be five minutes, it can be an hour. And what's wonderful is that as a practitioner, you walk away from a treatment feeling energized yourself because you yourself are a channel receiving the energy first and then the recipient receives. So it's win-win for both of you. If an individual has a trouble area like a headache, you can apply your hands directly to that position. But also remember that Reiki goes exactly where it's needed. And at the end, an individual needs to be grounded and their energy field smoothed out. And so both practitioner and recipient come back to center. And watch our next segment on ethical guidelines.